Hi, it's Daniel, and I'm here with Sheila Dureski from Schweiger Construction Company to talk to us today about what we're going to expect with this construction project for our locker room. So we're down here in the sports and fitness area. It's all closed, as you know, uh, near the locker rooms and demos getting ready to start. So I have a few questions for Sheila. Um, and Thank tell you. us a little bit about you and Schweiger as a company. Okay. Schweiger Construction um, is a family-owned business and has been in the same family since 1889. So we're in our wow. 135th year. Um, it is a woman-owned organization. And um, honestly, it's a pretty great place to work. Um, there's a, like a family environment because we're small, but we operate like a big construction company. So we kind of get the, both, the best of both worlds. Um, I have been with Schweiger Construction for a little over 11 years, and um, I have 25 years of experience in the construction industry. Um, I'm the senior project manager on the project, so um, I'm responsible for kind of more behind the scenes stuff. And then we have a superintendent on site at all times managing the day to day construction. That's if you great. don't know, Schweiger also did our fitness center upstairs, which is beautiful, and uh, they did a fantastic job. So we know the locker rooms are going to look amazing. Um, so the question on everyone's mind is, how long will the project take? So we're expecting the project overall to take about eight months. So we're expecting to be complete in May. May. So it is a, it is a long time, um, and there's a lot of work, just so everyone knows. Um, this is a complete, you know, demo, correct? Yes. Um, in addition to just demoing and refurbishing the locker rooms, there's also removing showers, removing um, toilets, and some, and that's pretty extensive type of work because the piping um, for those, for the showers and the toilets are all under the slab, which means we have to demo the slab and then reroute all of the piping. So it's, it's extensive work. Um, even though it's behind closed doors and you won't be able to see the day-to-day -day progress, um, it's yeah. still a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Um, so it's going to be beautiful in the end, but this is not just like a remodeled job where we're, you know, updating the tile and putting in some new countertops. This is really a re-envisioning uh, of the space. And in the next month, we're going to have an interview with Gensler, our architectural and design firm, and they're going to be telling us about what went into the process to design the new space. So Sheila, is there anything else that you know you want the members to know about the process, and you know what else goes into it um, from from your end, or anything interesting for them to know? Um, I would just say, um, from a safety standpoint, um, our biggest concern is having people who shouldn't be in the construction space getting in. I know there's a lot of curiosity, and if there's something that you want to see, I would recommend getting with Daniel or someone from the the J team to see if, if you can get access to take a look at something. Um, it's dangerous for members to be inside a construction space and it's also dangerous for our crews to have people there that, that don't belong there. It's a great point. And so if you see that construction fencing, if you see signs that say this is a construction area, do not enter, please respect those signs. Um, if you do want a sneak peek at some point or you want me to answer questions for you, um, please come by my office uh, in the main building. Give me a call, uh, shoot me an email, and I'm happy to you know, answer any questions at any time. And we'll have more of these videos. We'll have more information on our website and on our social media. So stay tuned for more. And Sheila, thank you so much for being here and uh, answering our questions today. Thanks, Daniel. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank